Hey guys, what's going on? It's Swervex here, and today I'm going to be showing you guys the Rune Loader Old School RuneScape Client. So, what this is, is essentially just another RuneScape Client that you can use to play Old School RuneScape, just like Orion or Orion. It's just like Orion Client, only it's just a little bit different and offers a little bit, um, a little bit extra for you um, that Orion doesn't offer. So, what you guys are wondering, what you want to do is you want to go to the Rune Loader uh, website, www.runeloader.com slash home. And um, I'll put a link in the description for you guys so you guys don't have to type all that out, you lazy fucks. And what you do is you come to this website and you click register. So once you click register and you have your account ready, um, then you can you know download the client and then you just sign in with the client or sign in on the login uh, login window and then it'll it should load up for you, which is pretty cool. So, without further ado, let me show you guys what this thing has to offer. So, before I show you guys the uh, the client, I wanted to show you guys this real quick. Uh, these are the plugins that it offers at the moment. I don't think there are other, any other current uh, plugins, but these are just the plugins that you have that come with the download. So, you have XP Pop Up, Combat Hub, Minimap Orb, Zybest Price Guide, and Staking Lookup. Um, I don't think I've seen this one on the actual client itself, but the Zybest Price Guide, the Minimap Orbs Combat Hub, and the XP Pop-Up are definitely there. Um, I don't know, I'd have to, you know, search around and try to find that one. But you can also remove these if you don't like them or you don't feel comfortable with having them on your client. You can just come to the uh, website, go to Plugin Repository, and click Remove. It's pretty cool, pretty easy, it's very, it's very easy to work with. So, let me show you the client itself. Alright guys, so as you can see, um, I am here using the RuneScape client. Now, um, some things I want to show you before we actually get into the uh, RuneScape gameplay here. Um, you have File, which is Exit, and then you have Plugins and Features as your tabs up here in the top. And they might adjust this and might add new ones um, for this. But, um, you know, File is pretty much just Exit. Plugins is pretty much what you see here on the side of the screen. These are your plugins. And, um, actually, it, it, it incorporates... It, it is incorporated with your entire RuneScape screen here, I should say, the entire client. But this is probably where your plugins are going to sit, aside from the, um, the ones that are on the game. And what you have is you have the Zybez price lookup. So you go here, you can type in the name of an item, and it tells you who's selling what, the lows and the high prices, the average price. I don't think it auto looks up for you. Like if I were to type in log... And you can't press enter, you have to hit search. Okay, logs. See, with Orion, you can type in just log, and it should come up with the different kinds of logs. But if I were to type in boots, let's see. I just don't think... Yeah, see, boots, it doesn't really give you um, a general statement of all the different kinds of boots. It just kind of... So you have to type in each each item exactly, like rune boots. And you can't hit enter. I keep hitting enter. So room boots and there's your offers right there. It's pretty cool. It's pretty efficient. It's just pretty much like Orion, but Orion's just a little bit better because they have that kind of auto fill. And if you click boots, it'll give you all the different kinds of boots and the prices, which is still pretty cool. But I mean, it works nonetheless. All right. So what else you got? You got add plugins. And when I click that, nothing happens. I think it's because I have all the plugins, or maybe it opens up the page for you. Um and offers the different plugins. Uh, you have hide panel plugins which just pretty much takes everything off for you. And no, hide panel plugins just takes off the side and makes it just a RuneScape screen. Uh, canvas plugins, when you hide canvas plugins it takes off all the plugins and it's just the uh, raw RuneScape gameplay. So, you know, you have some pretty cool options as far as how to play with this client. So I'm gonna take these and put these back. Okay, it's not letting me do this. For some reason, it's not letting me put it back. So it's a little flawed. One sec. Well, that was weird. Um, It wouldn't let me open it up, so I just kind of restarted the program. and uh, But it's working right now, so that's, that's good. But for some reason, it wouldn't let me bring up those plugins back. But I don't, I don't know. But, um, so... When you're looking at the actual gameplay with the plugins, uh, you notice that there's a few things different um, other than Orion or Orion. Um, you have your 
your orbs right here where I think the or Orion orbs were kind of curved around. These ones are just kind of straight up and down. Um, the run energy is an orb on Orion. And then you have your spec was over here on this corner um, on Orion. So those are the things that were um, different between this one and Orion. And um, you also have the combat bar up here, which is pretty cool because it tells you how much HP is left when you're fighting an opponent. When when you have like, it, and it really helps, especially if you're doing like fight caves and you're trying to kill Jad. Or, you know, you're killing this big boss like, you know, General Garrarder or, you know, band like, you know, any of the God Wars bosses. Even PKing it will it'll help a little bit. Although, some things that I have to mention that are kind of, that should be necessary for this client to actually be popular with the RuneScape community is the player lookup. Now, with Orion, you have the player lookup, you can actually look up people's names, you don't even have to type in their full name, you can just type in the first letter of what their name starts with, and it'll f auto fill it in for you, which is amazingly awesome, because I know I had a lot of problems with trying to type in people's names that were like I-L-L-I-L-I-L-I-L-L-L, or subbing, like substituting a zero for an O and an O for a zero, and you know, just those really fucked up names that were created to make you not like to make you frustrated while you tried to look them up so Orion kind of got rid of that and you know m gave you that autofill option and whereas this client doesn't even have the uh, player lookup tab or or plugin now it might have the plugin on the website somewhere I just haven't found it I literally just loaded it today and I thought I'd make a video and let you guys know how it's working for me and um, how I like it but I do like it because you have this combat bar up at the top here that shows you the health. Now, Orion does offer this bar for you guys, this health bar. But you have to pay for the pro version of Orion. So, that's kind of where, you know, you have... Should I, should I pay for Orion because it offers a lot of other plugins that are more beneficial to me in my overall gameplay or should I just use this version when I need to use the combat bar for specific bosses and just use Orion when for for my everyday gameplay um you know that's that's kind of the question that comes up when you when you want to use when you have to choose between one or the other so I just thought I'd let you guys kind of share this with you guys and let you guys know um, what this client is and you know how it affects your gameplay and maybe gives you another option to a another client to use. So, well, I mean today, um, oops, today Orion was down. I tried uploading it again and or downloading it again, and it just it wasn't working today. So I decided to give a uh, Rune Loader a try, and so far I actually really do like it. It's the orbs are easy and clear to see. Um, you can't actually even click on them, which is good because I know Orion got uh, in trouble for doing that, but I just thought I'd let you guys know, and um, I hope you guys enjoyed this video. If you did enjoy it, make sure you give it a like and share it with your friends. Let them know, you know, hey, there's this cool guide out that shows you how to do uh, a new kind of RuneScape client, and it's called Rune Loader. So I hope you guys enjoyed it. Make sure you go and check out my other videos if you do enjoy this one, and uh, I'll probably be coming out with another video about sharp keys uh, later on this week. So, thanks for watching, and I'll see you guys later.